Okay, hi there. Jeff back again with another in our series of Chains of Reasoning videos. We take a topic, this time currency depreciation, and uh, we think about how to build a chain of reasoning. The exams are looking for this for you to get high marks in your economics papers. Uh, we'll give you some examples of connective words you can use, and we know that good analysis always prompts better evaluation. Here's our focus for this next few minutes. Uh, analyse how a depreciation of a nation's currency might affect their trade balance. Good question, popular one. Here's my chain of reasoning. Uh, a depreciation is a fall in the external value of a currency within a floating exchange rate system. Nice definition, tells the examiner you understand that this must be a floating exchange rate. Then a bit of application. For example, sterling uh, might fall against the US dollar, as it has recently. Then we build our analysis. If a currency falls in value, the overseas price of exports is likely to fall. Consequently, and that's a connective word, consequently exports such as cars and pharmaceuticals, two bits of application there, uh, become more price competitive in the overseas market. As a result, nice connective phrase, export volume should increase, leading to an increase in the value of exports and therefore an improved trade balance. So we're using these connective words all the time. And import prices will increase, which can lead to a fall in import demand. People in the home country may be switching their spending towards domestically sourced, domestically produced output. Thus, depreciation of the exchange rate, ceteris paribus, other things remaining the same, should lead to an improvement in net trade for a country, X minus M. Net trade, the value of exports, minus the value of imports. Can you see here that you're just trying to build a nice connective chain of reasoning? You're going to get really good analysis marks if you follow this approach. Uh, obviously, we need to evaluate, um, and here are three points. The impact on the trade balance, of course, depends on the price elasticity of demand for both exports and imports. Check out something called the Marshall Lerner condition, Providing the sum of the coefficients of elasticity of demand for exports and imports are greater than one, then a fall uh, in the exchange rate will lead to a, an improvement in net trade. However, in the short term, a depreciation could lead to a J-curve effect. So check out, search on Google, search on YouTube for J-curve effect and Marshall Learning Condition if you need a little bit of revision on that. And crucially... Many exports require imports. It's a great evaluation point. Uh, a farmer might uh, need imported fertilizer and animal feed before they export their products. So actually a fall in the currency might increase costs and therefore reduce the extent to which exports become more price competitive due to the fall in the exchange rate. The rise in import prices, if you said, could offset some of the gains in competitiveness that the currency fall has uh, brought about. There we go. Hopefully this was a useful little three or four minutes of revision for you. Chains of reasoning lead to stronger evaluation. Stay happy, stay positive and uh, see you all sometime soon.